So how you been? How was how was your day today? I'm good. My day is going really well. Yeah. Right over here in uh, San Diego. Sa where where are you? San Diego. Oh wow! I have two kids in San Diego. I did. Um, wow. like, I lived in San Diego for about four or five years i was in the navy and i was stationed in um san diego at 32nd naval street base yeah nice. yeah i was on the uss denver did you like it i love san diego san diego was the bomb like i loved it mission beach the mission mall like all, all of that stuff i used to go to a the one swap meet that you all had over on, it was like on like the hood side, I think like off of Euclid or something like that. Fan Mart or something like that. You ever heard of it? No. Fan Mart and they call it Fan Bam. Nah. <laughs> it's like a little flea market. It was, it was, it was great. They had music, T-shirts, like custom cool. shirts, stuff like that that you can get done there. It was, it was really cool. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll look it up. All right. They, they probably uh, changed the name or something by now. But I'm a, um, I'm a set the timer on my phone. And basically, we gonna just kick it for like 20 minutes. Um, I mean, I'm really more interested in what you do by being like an alkaline chef. You know, I think like in the, in the health community or health conscious community, I believe that a lot of people that are being drawn into this community now because of COVID, or whatever, you know, whatever heighten their consciousness to like live a healthier lifestyle. So these newcomers, I think that they're like lost. Okay, what's some examples? What do I cook? What are some good ingredients? What's some good recipes? Like, you know, how do I, where do I start? You know, so. Uh, where to start? Okay, the, fir the first thing that you should do as a beginner in the alkaline diet, you, you should actually download the nutritional guide from the Dr. Sebi website. Or it's on my page as well. You have it right there. Perfect. And what you should do, you should remove from your house anything that is not on the list if you're in your kitchen. Only keep ingredients that are on the list. This way you will already start to reprogram your brain to see only the ingredients that are good for you. And just by having just the ingredients, you will start research, you will start creating new recipes. I think the hardest part is transitioning. And also it depends. Some people transition from a they eat meat and they want to transition to an alkaline diet. Some people are already on a vegan diet and they want to transition to an alkaline vegan diet. So it absolutely uh, depends. When I transitioned, I was vegetarian and I transitioned to an uh, alkaline vegan lifestyle. But what I did, I also did a cleanse for 10 days. And that was a very basic cleanse at that time. I didn't know, I had no knowledge about cleanses. So I just did this master cleanse and, uh, and yeah. And after doing that, I said, well, my body is clean. I feel new, fresh. It's time for me to just start a new diet. And I found the Dr. Sebi diet and I stick to it ever since. That was like three and a half years ago. And I noticed how beneficial it was to my body from, from the first week because every, the food that you have is not putting you to sleep. You know, do you know that feeling when you're having a meal and you just want to go to sleep, take a nap, right? That's that inflammation setting in place ASAP. As soon as you eat that acidic food, boom, inflammation. And it starts to swell you up, making you feel bloated, full. Yes. Exactly. Also related to food combinations. Some people are doing really bad food combinations that you shouldn't done. And as a result, it makes your body really tired and you're exhausted because it takes time for the body to digest the food. But more, the more you have living foods uh, like alkaline fruits and veggies that are raw, but also you can have cooked food, but in moderation. I believe that cooked food in moderation is also the key. Not only don't have just cooked food all day long, 
That's why when people transition from a non-plant-based diet to a plant-based diet, they said, but what am I going to eat? They say that because in their mindset, they think I'm only supposed to eat cooked food all day long. But no, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to feel energized, feel alive. Yeah. And you, you'll be able to do it through the proper way of eating. Yeah. Cool. So, so do you suggest like raw, pretty much like a raw portion of, uh, of the day, like, you know, like with the raw diet, smoothies or just chopping up some cucumbers and eating that with tahini butter or whatever, like? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a pro of the raw diet, completely raw diet. I don't think it's very beneficial. I think you can combine them too with raw and cooked so you can have Raw, raw breakfast, for example, having uh, foods for breakfast is great because they have so much fiber and water, so they're going to clean your system first thing in the morning. Very important. Yes, and then for lunchtime or dinner time, you can have a small portion of a cooked meal, but have a lot of many veggies with it. Always have more veggies, and in between have fruits or a nice snack or like a, a veggies with hummus, something like that. You, whatever will light your fire, you know, you know what I'm talking about because there's type of foods that are, you eat and you feel amazing, you feel light, you feel alive and um, yeah, basically that's the main reason, we want to be happy, right, we want to be alive, we want to get our uh, goals and achieve everything, there's a reason we're here on this planet and we will, we're able to do it while using this vehicle which is our body. Is, yeah. it's a from God it's a beautiful gift that we have to take care of I also want to say there's a big part for our mindset because you have to start talking positively to your body and say I love my body I feel healthy I have a lot of energy because you know your body is mostly water so whatever if you put negative energy into this water your body will obey and as a result you have disease and um so take care of your body. I believe in selfishness in the best way. You can only put your, you can only help others if you put yourself first. Once you put yourself first, you'll be able to help others. But if you don't do that at first, you have nothing to give no one. So be selfish. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, for sure. Um, I always say, you know, remember gratitude is key. You know, um, it's it's like it's so important in the process of healing. You know, um, let's say like just for somebody that's always in a state of complaint. You know, like if they're going through um, kidney pain or whatever. You know, like it's like if you're complaining, always in complaint. You know, oh, I'm hurting. I'm I'm hurt. This is hurting. It's like you have to have make some sort of room for expressing gratitude. Okay, you may have pain in this one area. However, you were feeling good in your legs. You were able to stand up and wake up and walk to the bathroom this morning or you know what I'm saying? So it's like gratitude is so huge in the process of healing. It's a balance. It's not just yes. a right diet or the taking of these herbs is like, it's a complete balance. I, I practice yoga, meditation, you know, so it's a complete balance, definitely. You're so right, it's all a combination. And I love what you said, because if some part of you is sick, but there's other parts of you that are healthy, but you only focus on the sick part, you, you immediately become sick 100%. But when you focus that you have healthy legs, you can walk, you can see. So then you notice, oh, I'm only sick 2%, 3%. The rest of my body is still healthy and functioning. Don't kill yourself. You're still alive. Yeah, yes. I love it. Gratitude is the key. I, I realized it. So I was doing a dry fast for 25 hours yesterday. And the whole time I was just so grateful for my health and I said I have so much energy. And until the last hour of the fast, when well, you're supposed to be exhausted because you haven't had water or, or food, I was still running around and, and jumping around and I'm like, what, what's going on? Because I, I put in my head, I told myself I'm full of energy, 
um my body is doing amazing i'm doing great and like all of a sudden i noticed that the food is not that of course food is great we need food but i i was not obsessed about where where am i gonna get it yeah. so yeah. the mental talk the inner talk is so important and yeah <laughs> definitely i agree so what's your top three uh snacks that you have like in a house that you like your go-to snacks okay so, raw walnuts i love walnuts i will just snack on walnuts and uh, dates and uh, <laughs> maybe hummus and veggies also i will make hummus store it and have cut, and i will cut some veggies this is the basic like my my food depends on what I have in my fridge, I will create something on that day. But I have some staple ingredients that I always have, like quinoa, dates, walnuts, hummus, tahini, um, peppers, cilantro. And those are snacks? You just snack on that stuff? No, no, these are some ingredients that I use, but I do snack on some tahini and dates and uh, yeah. Okay. So me, myself, right, I just got some snacks. I just went grocery shopping at a Sprouts. Shout out to Sprouts. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> no, but I just got, um, I got some dates. I got some walnuts. And I got apples. So, like, I, I love apples. Um, I got the Fuji kinds. And mm -hmm. um, they just have, like, this kind of taste to it. I don't know, like, I love Fuji apples, like, they taste so delicious. Like, almost like a sweet kind of a taste to it, like, you know? Yeah, yes, so yes. That's, that's my three snacks that I got right now. I got a bunch nice. I love it. You know, actually, Sprouts have everything on the alkaline diet. They have tahini, they have the pasta, they have the chickpeas, they have most of it. Yeah. And they have felt flour, so really, I really like going there, because they have everything that you need. Yeah, definitely. Um, man, I'm so lucky to be out here in Florida. Like, in Florida, you can grow just about anything. Um, I'm about to get so, like, I'm building, like, a little alkaline garden out in the back. I'm about to, like, grow so much stuff. Like, I'm about to grow, like, some sour sops. Oh, wow. dude, it's the baby bananas, the Thai bananas. Like, it's about to be crazy. How are you doing Do you have the seeds? Um, well, out here in Florida, you got farmers that sell trees on Facebook Marketplace. So I go to Facebook Marketplace and I just type in Boro Bananas and it's like gardeners that live right across the bridge over in Tampa that's selling a baby banana, a Boro Banana tree that's a baby, right? It's like three feet tall, it's been growing for like the last two years and they're selling it for like 25 bucks, you know, so, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's so, amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's my dream to have my own garden with all the alkaline fruits and veggies. Uh, yeah, mine's too. Um, actually, my next uh, video that I'm going to put out um, is actually going to be me planting animal which is a guinea hen weed. Okay. Yeah, you, you heard them? Yeah? No. Can you no. tell me about it? Yeah, so guinea hen weed. I got, I got this here with me. I love that book. Yeah, so, so guinea hen weed is in here. Um, it's all the way in the back. And what it says... Or Muli and Lee. So it says that Guinea hen weed is antimicrobial, um, anti cancer, anti tumor, antiviral, antioxidant. It is a diuretic and also anti HIV. Uh, Guinea hen weed is used in traditional medicine to reverse cancer, uh, reduce muscle spasms and fever, relax nerves, relieve pain and lower blood sugar levels. Um, also to treat bacterial, fungal, and virus infections. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds great. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm about to be planting some of that. I got seeds right here. This is 25 seeds, so I'm gonna be planting that here probably uh, today, right after we get off the phone. You should video that journey actually on on social media. Definite. Yeah. I, I will. Love it. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you. Um, yeah. Um. All right, so like me, personally, I'm dealing with, you know, I guess like, so like I'm a, I'm a vegan right now at, in my stage of growth, you know? Um, everything is a process, you know? Um, as far as treating myself, it's nothing but alkaline herbs. You know, I intake <laughs> nothing but alkaline herbs. However, when it comes to food, I maintain and, and I run about four or five different businesses. Um, so a lot of times I'm extremely busy on the road, you know, just running errands, just doing things or whatnot to keep the businesses afloat, you know? So I don't really have a lot of time to do like meal prepping and things of that nature, you know? So a lot of times I'm forced to eat, I guess, whatever's on the road, you know? Um, so like, let's say, you know, I'm a vegan, right? Like I said, so it's not like I'm, I'm getting fast food like hamburgers or, you know, cheese products or anything like that, of course, right? But it's stuff like high starch items such as potato chips or french fries and things like that you know what i'm saying um so it's like things that's like vegan but not 100 percent like alkaline i guess you can say you know what i'm saying so like i guess i love breads i love french fries um what are two replacements that i can use for a bread and for like a french fry substitution so for bread you can make spelled bread or you can buy spelled bread and make sure when you buy the spelled bread it will the ingredients will be minimal like only flour water salt something like that very basic and for french fries you can make boro banana fries or or butternut squash fries. All, all of these, of course, you have to make at home. And I know if you're very busy, you're traveling, you have to make the adjustment. When something is really important for you, you also make, you will make the extra step. And if you're visiting a town and all the available is only fried food and not so healthy, you can always go to a grocery store, get some veggies, get some hummus. Um, get some fruits and and that's it and you're good drink a lot of water i know sometimes you want the cooked food the cooked meal so i hope you have maybe a pot and water and you can cook some quinoa with veggies and and chop it also this type of meal will be cheaper than eating out for you and it, you will feel better you know sometimes we with the things that we eat we have the guilt right afterwards yeah. so in order to minimize the guilt feeling, you can choose things that you know that will be semi-beneficial. Yeah. Always, you maybe you're not doing it 100%. Where no one is perfect, but you will do things that are partially beneficial to you, and then you will feel much better. You you'll know it's good for you. Um, also, look, fried. I'm not a fan of fried food or like deep fried. I don't think is highly nutritious. But if you do crave it or you want it once in a while, just pick the best of the worst. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have a few options and there's one option that's probably better than the rest of the options. So you pick that one. You will not go to McDonald's, but you will go to a plant-based restaurant. And there's levels. There's really, there's many, many levels of, of healthy eating. Okay. Yeah. Hope it helped. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. So I guess like let's let's dive a little bit more into one of those. So 
the bread and the bananas. Which, which one is, is more easier to prepare? The bread, for If you want to make your own bread, all you need to do is just to, to mix the flour, sea salt, water, a little bit of date syrup, let it sit for a little bit, and then bake it. Uh, so, it's really fast. So, so how much, like, so, okay, so like spilt flour, how much spilt flour should I have? Like, if I want to feed, like, just like me and like, I guess like two other people or something like that. Yeah, you should, you should make two, two loaves. I have a recipe on my page, I can send it to you. And okay. For, for spelled bread. Okay. And it's super, super simple. It's, I think it's. Two, two cups of spelt flour and a little bit less than one cup of water and okay. some sea salt and some date syrup it's super it's very simple and not so complicated all my recipes are very simple because why complicate things exactly yeah so you don't put like um, walnuts or anything um, sparkling water do you use any of that stuff you can use sparkling water if you want it to be a, a little bit thicker you can okay. do that. Okay. Okay. So, like, what does the sparkling water do to the breads? So it, it just it's a, it creates some air bubbles in the bread. You know, when you eat bread, it, you're normally people are using yeast, and yeast creates the the fluffiness in the bread. And in the alkaline diet, we're not using yeast, so we're using a sparkling water as an alternative. It doesn't give you the same result as yeast because it's not the same, but you will still have, the bread will rise a little bit, so you will notice the difference. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so like to close out, because um, we're about to wrap it up. So I know that you just mentioned that you have a cookbook. I apologize for not announcing that in the beginning, but yes, you, you do have a cookbook. I just want you to let the viewers know, like, you know, about your cookbook, where they can find it, the name and stuff like that. that Thank you. So they can it's in my Instagram page, my Facebook page, or on lulu.com. They just need to look for my alkaline recipes. If you also Google my alkaline recipes cookbook, you will find it sweet all right cool thank you so much thank you it was great talking to you it was great talking to you too uh we might possibly have to get on and do a part two sometimes later sure. <laughs> all right cool well enjoy the rest of your day peace thank and love you. Thank, thank you so much bye <laughs> bye Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And oh yeah, never forget, gratitude is key.